Hello and welcome back to the Toffee Blues YouTube channel, your source for all things Everton. My name is Thomas, back on the channel today with a starting 11 video, back into the league again, this time a very tricky fixture against Wolves, not having the best season so far, but still a lot of players that can hurt us and we know that we don't have a brilliant record. Of course, the last game we played just about got through against Rotherham in the FA Cup, I had to do it an extra time. Uh, a lot of rotation and we know that players like Calvert-Lewin uh, and maybe Richarlson are still going to be out from that game. Uh, but I'm just going to talk you through who I want to be in the start 11. This isn't necessarily what I think will happen, uh, but we'll run through various options. So in goal, starting off, John Pickford. Uh, he's still clearly Carlo Ancelotti's number one, whether you know people are a fan of that or not. Uh, we know that he was rested against Rotherham. Olsen just seems to be a rotation <clears throat> or, a, or a cup keeper. Uh, so we know John Pickford will come in. That's a, that's a, that's a pretty simple one for me. Uh, and another very simple one when he's fit, Lucas Digne has to come back in. We saw him start against Rotherham, didn't get the full game. Uh, eventually players like Unkunku came on so uh, if if he's fit has to be starting and, and I think he will be in a, in a back four uh, one of our most creative players we've definitely missed him a lot over the, the past foot couple of weeks against sites that are more compact like West Ham and Sheffield United and he is one of more our more creative players and one of the more creative players in the league uh, in terms of his creative output I think I saw a stat where he's he was the most most creative out of any of the any of the left backs uh, in the Prem so he has to be in for me and then centre half partnership Actually, I'm I'm going to go with Yerry Mina and Michael Keane, uh, purely because I'm I'm going to get to Godfrey in a minute. Uh, Holgate's been poor, I think. He, he hasn't been up to his, his best uh, form, as we know we can get to uh, when he has been, uh, after he came back from his injury, of course. He was looking really good going into pre-season, managed to get injured against Preston or someone. Didn't start the season, and then, and then since he came back, I don't think he was brilliant. Uh, for, for me, Keane and Mina have been very solid. We know how brilliant Keane's been. Mina was rested against Rotherham. Uh, with uh, with Godfrey playing alongside him, so I can see those two forming a little partnership again. I, th I think they've been in pretty decent form uh, for all the players that maybe have dipped against against Rotherham or or West Ham or maybe even the Sheffield United game. I think uh, Keane and Mina have been pretty solid, and then that leads me to the right back where I'm going to put Ben Godfrey. Of course, we know that Seamus Coleman's fit, so I think he might be more likely to start than Godfrey. However, against maybe more defensively compact sides, we did need the width and we, we lacked the width from Holgate and Godfrey playing fullback, yes, they were brilliant against the likes of uh, Chelsea and, and United, but when it came to the, the more defensively compact sides like David Moyes' West Ham, we needed the width provided by the fullbacks that we didn't necessarily get, but in this instance, we are going to be away from home. The, the, the onus will be on Wolves to attack us at the end of the day, whether you think home advantage is really a thing or not in, the, in this weird form of football that we have these days, but for me, I think Godfrey's just more defensively solid than Coleman is at the moment. Of course, Coleman will probably start being the club captain, but for me, I'm going to put Godfrey there purely because of he's he's just more solid defensively and this isn't a team... We, we are going to sit more on the counter-attack, I believe, uh, in comparison to the past few games. We saw it work very well over the festive period, so I can see that continuing here. So, just in recap so far, John Pickford in goal, Lucas Digne and Ben Godfrey as the full-backs and then centre-back partnership, partnership sorry, of Michael Keane and Jerry Mina. Moving on to central midfield now, of course we know Allen is still injured for the next 10 to 15 days I believe, so Decore, no brainer for me, has to be in the team, our most important midfielder and of course grabbed a goal against Rotherham, I think he's been brilliant all season, adds so much energy and just I, th I think he's been, I think it's debatable whether he's been our most important signing, of course James Rodriguez and Allen have both had injuries now for the past month or so and Abdullah Decore has been absolutely brilliant, so no brainer for me, he's just another, another one who's arguably first name on the team sheet. Alongside him, uh, now that is the tricky position, against a team like Wolves as well, I, I am going to go for a 4-2-3-1 here in my formation. So it, I'm, I'm very torn between Andre Gomez and Tom Davis, purely because it's it's basically the lesser of two evils at this point. They were really, really poor in the FA Cup. I think they, they definitely don't work well together, but maybe alongside uh, Decore, it might slightly improve. So I think I'll probably go with Tom Davis over Andre Gomez, just purely because... Gomez doesn't seem to have the legs to play in the league even vaguely anymore. After that injury, he just hasn't been the same player and he doesn't look like he's recovering. Tom Davies, yes, he's a very frustrating player, but he does have some very, very rare moments and stick him next to Decore and it might not be the end of the world. So, as I mentioned, it is probably just the lesser of two evils. Uh, but in terms of lesser of two evils that c coming up at striker, that is going to be the problem. But we're going to come to that just towards the end of the video. So, uh, so far, just a quick recap again. Pickford... Dinier and Godfrey, full-backs, Michael Keane and Yerimina, centre-back partnership. And two centre midfielders of Abdullah Decore and Tom Davis. Then going forwards uh, to continue in the vein of the 4-2-3-1. Of 
Let's start with Wobi out on the right. Uh, he came back against Rotherham again. I, I think he's been pretty decent. Yes, he hasn't been setting the world alight, but has been putting in some decent performances. Maybe has been slightly inconsistent in the past, but I think he's doing pretty well now, and that means I play James Rodriguez centrally. Another player that maybe is struggling for fitness at the moment. He hasn't looked quite up to his best since he's come on in, in flashes. Came on later on against West Ham. Didn't really have much of an impact. Start the game against Rotherham and struggled. But of course he did get that assist for Abdoulaye Decore. So when he's fit, has to be in the team. Whether he's fully fit or not, we are pretty stretched at the moment. And I definitely would not play Gilfie Sigurdsson in that central role. Yes, he was alright over Christmas, but still not up to the standard that we expect. Then the left wing and striking positions are the interesting ones now because we know Calvert-Lewin's injured. He is, of course, a no-brainer. And Richarlison is also potentially injured in Carlo Ancelotti's press conference today. Uh, he completely ruled out uh, Dominic Calvert-Lewin, but he said Richarlison is being set, assessed ahead of the game in, in training. So we don't fully know. But I think what I can see Carlo Ancelotti likely doing if Richarlison is fit is playing him on the left and Cheng Tosin up front, which I would not be excited by uh, by any means. I think Tosin's really poor. We need to try and ship him off in January. Clearly, Ancelotti fancies him as kind of a backup striker, but he hasn't really had time to bring in a replacement since Moise Keane left on loan. And it seems like Tosa might be sticking around. There's been some vague rumours linking him with West Brom and maybe some Turkish clubs as well, but I can't see I can't, I can't see that happening in January unless we bring in a striker. So I think if Richardson's fit, it will be Richardson on the left and Tosin at striker. However, just in an ideal world, of course, this isn't necessarily what I think might happen, but what, I, what I'd prefer to happen is Richardson to play centrally uh, with... I'd say Anthony Gordon out wide, but he's not going to play really. He played against Rotherham, kind of, he started really brightly, got that assist for Tosin, but kind of dropped off after that, wasn't brilliant. So, for the instance of the video, let's say Richardson's fit, I'm going to go Richardson left wing and Cheng Tosin striker. Is that by any means an absolute, you know, perfect scenario? Absolutely not. I generally don't think Tosin's good enough to play for us. But while we don't have a backup striker, we are really struggling for depth in that position. So, that's my team, John Pickford and Gould, Tinier and Godfrey fullbacks, Jeremy and Michael Keane making up the rest of the defence in midfield in a 4-2-3-1, Decore alongside Tom Davis, Awobi off the right, Richardson off the left if he is and hopefully he is fit, Hamas Rodriguez centrally and Cheng Tosin up front. Not a good team by any means and obviously the pace of Tosin is, re is really going to hurt us if we are going to play on the counter-attack, that is of course one of Calvert-Lewin's brilliant strengths. Very, very quick player and he ha is happy to run after lost causes, which doesn't seem like something that Tosin's even vaguely interested in. So that's my team. Let us know down in the comments below what your team would be. Maybe give us two different lineups, what you want it to be and what you think it might be. Let's hope Richardson's fit. Of course, we are getting a couple of players back now, like Lucas Dinier, but now we have lost Calvert-Loon as well. About two weeks until Alan comes back, we hope. Uh, and other than that, let's hope Hamas Rodriguez is up to full fitness and let let's hope for a good performance. So thank you all very much for watching. As I mentioned, let us know down in the comments what your lineup would be, uh, and join us next time on the Toffee Blues.